everyone. Today we're outside because we have this auto rotating grill from Deer Famy, the same company that sent me the tent. So we're going to open this up, we're going to put it together, and not only that, we're going to cook some food in this. So I've already got the tape cut. And right away we have our instructions here. Shows you how to put it together. Very simple. Again, sorry for the lighting and the traffic noise, but we are outside. We're going to take out our packaging. And we've got one of our baskets. It is a dual rotating basket. Now inside this basket, we have a nice handy little oil sprayer or you can mix up seasonings and use it to spray onto your food. That's very nice. We won't be needing this today, but I'm sure I will get a lot of use out of it. And here's our second basket. Side here. This is what's going to turn the baskets, which is going to hold our meat in. And right in here is where you put your batteries. It takes three AA batteries on each side. There and there. And here's your little switches to turn it on. Now we're going to take out the rest of the product. And that's it for inside the box. Very well packaged. It came undamaged. And these are all the pieces we're going to assemble. Again, very easy to do. It's a very nice touch. It's got their logo printed on it. And they also give us a fork. Okay, so the first thing the instructions tell us to do is to take these two end pieces here, like this. We're gonna slide these down in here with this notch right here in the back. And we're gonna just start these. We're not gonna push them all the way down in yet. Just gonna kinda get them started it went, but that's okay. Then we're gonna put this one over here like this. Now, we're going to take this piece here, we're going to put it down in the bottom. There's a slot on each side that they will go into, and there's that section of it. Now the final piece, as you can see, this is very simple and it will come apart just backwards from what you put it together, and that way you can store it away for another day and that will clip in there just like that and then our baskets they will go in once you put your food in you line your notch up with your roll with your rotisserie just like that again there's a notch right there it can only go one way it's pretty much ready to use. Let's get some batteries. We'll get some charcoal ready to go. We'll put some food in here. I'll show you what we're going to make. We're going to make some chicken wings. We're going to make some beef tips. And we're going to make some vegetables in these baskets. Now, while our charcoal is getting ready, I'm going to go ahead and put some meat in here. This is beef tips. And I have had them marinating and soy sauce overnight so I'm going to fill it up about that full I'm going to put the lid on it now we're going to do the vegetables they have just been marinating in their own juices overnight
we have red peppers we have yellow peppers we have mushrooms and we have pearl onions now once this is cooked you can put them on a skewer and make kebabs if you would like now we can pretty much fill this one up and because there's not as much and also the mushrooms will shrink up a bit now I'm gonna let that those drain for a few minutes while the charcoal is getting ready it's almost there now our charcoal's ready we're just going to put a few briquettes in there now we're going to put our food on again only one way it'll go As you can see, we've got our pan underneath. Now we're going to turn these on. Just like that. And there they go. We're going to let them cook. Cooking time depends on what kind of meat you have in there. How do you like your meat? You know, do you like it rare, medium rare, medium well, well done? <coughs> Vegetables, just cook until they're done. But our tray underneath will catch ashes and drippings. So we'll come back when these are just about ready and we'll take them off and we'll put them in a container and we'll try them out. So it's been about five minutes. As you can see, it's cooking very nicely. And if you need to, you can take these off and add more briquettes as needed. That's why I recommend getting one of these, a charcoal chimney very handy now we're going to take these off I'll switch that off and I'm going to use the little fork that they provided for us I'm just going to lift it out just like that I'm going to bring it over here I'm going to set this down we're going to dump this out these are our beef tips now i'm going to grab the vegetables we're just going to do the same thing that smells fantastic now we have what i like to call the pit master privilege we're going to try this out I'm going to cut into one. Oh, perfect. And we're going to taste it. Amazing. Now I'm going to put the chicken on. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Now we have our chicken wings on here. There's about 10 wing dings and drumettes in each one. So I separated them. The more you have that full, the longer it'll take to cook. So I just separated them. And so they'll cook more evenly. And it won't take as long. We'll come back to these when these are done. And we'll give them a try too. Alright. Let's put our wings in here. Get the other one. There is our wings. Make sure they're done. Oh yeah, very nice. So, let's try one of these wings. Or a piece of it. Again, pit master privilege here. perfect okay so now this is all stainless steel which can be put in the dishwasher except for this of course because it's battery operated 
you can just wipe this down. The rest of this, I'm just going to take over here. I'm going to dump out and I'm going to dispose of it properly. Make sure it's put out. And uh, I'll show you how this comes apart. To take it apart, you just do the opposite of what you did to put it together. Just like that. Pull that out. Pull this out. Pull that out. Or you can just wash it off or hose it down with a garden hose and you're done. Real simple and easy. This is a great product. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this for sure. I give this two thumbs up and five star. I really like it. It was, uh, it was a hit with my family. Everything turned out fine. Like I said, easy to assemble, disassemble. Easy to clean, clean up because of stainless steel. Like I said, you can just See that, that will just wash off with no problem. Stainless steel will discolor after a while, but that's okay. See, most of this will just pretty much wash off in the sink, or you can throw these parts in the dishwasher. So I like to thank the company, Dear Fammy, for sending this to me to test and try out for them. I really appreciate it. I appreciate everyone watching and hope everyone has a great day. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.